Yo, it's the Shaolin Faithful Master. We're, We're in the building. We're about to do a mid taper, mid bold taper on this wave of right here, K Mo. Alright, you guys ready? Let's get. And let's go. Oh. We start with brushing the hair, of course, lay it down as much as possible so that when you cut, the haircut is as even as possible. Alright, make sure you lay that hair down. Brush, brush, brush. Let's go. All right, start with our first guideline, the bold line, uh, using um, a wall detailer to hit up the first bold line at the back. While I have the detailer still in my hand, I'm going to do the second bold line a guideline on the side of the head where the tape is going to be. Basically covering all the bold lines, the first guideline around the head to save time. Here we, uh, <laughs> over here we have my guy checking himself out. You know how it is. All right, and now we start with our brush guideline. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it's basically I'm hitting up the first, well, the second guideline, which is um, a fine brush level. All right, we're not taking it too high, just above the bold. Remember, it's a mid-low taper. Uh, we got the um, no guards on with the lever open, and we're hitting up the second guideline. <laughs> And remember, uh, we repeat the same steps all around while we have the lever open to save time. So over here, we're doing the second guideline at the back of the head. From there, we'll move to the left of the head, the, the left side of the head. Right, um, now that the guidelines are done, the second one, uh, we close the lever a little bit and we're going to kill the first guideline, the one between the bold level and the fine brush. So we're going to kill that with the lever halfway closed and we close it more and more until the guideline is completely gone. Um, and we're going to flick it out basically. Alright, from here we're putting on the one guard with the lever open and we're going to uh, reduce the bulk and uh, creating the second, the third guideline, my bad, third guideline, alright, third guideline, one guard, lever open. And we do the same all around while the one guard is still on to save what time. It's more like it. Here we're putting on a 1.5 guard and we're doing, we're basically just cleaning up the bulk, especially uh, between just over the ears, between the fade on the side and the fade at the back. If you don't have a 1.5, you should probably get it, but if you don't, a two guard closed would help and a one open 
just don't remove too much hair. All right, let's move. Yeah, we're basically just flicking it out and this part is very important so what i'm doing here is between the tape at the back and the the fade at the back and the fade on the sides we're basically going to reduce the hair in between just over the ears um, to create a neatness around the ears important technique So basically what I'm doing here is I got the I got no guard on uh, it's just a blade with the lever open and I'm going with the grain around the edges to get it neat all right with the grain around the edges don't remove too much just make sure it's neat around the edges uh, this is very well this is important the hairline Wavers normally tend to have a thick hairline because of the hair, right? Especially when they're wolf. So right now I've got a 0.5 guard on and I'm going with the grain around the hairline to just reduce it, to make it look like it blends in. Almost like a devil trim, but not. Well, maybe. Just make the hairline look neat, right? So when you're um, gonna line the hairline up, when you trim it, it looks neat, it looks good. It looks amazing, all right. don't mind this this is me just showing him his crown and how to work on it all right let's go
Alright, it's about that time, it's about that time. We've got the wall detailer, we're about to line him up. So we start with the back for a very good reason, whatever that is, and we just line it up. Do not go too deep in. Also, because it's a bolt tape at the bottom, uh, there's no need to uh, line him up horizontally. So we're just going to do the sides, alright? So make sure it's neat over the ears, don't chop them up. And yeah, let's move. Right, we got um, Auntie Jackie's curl custard. Uh, it's really good. It's a curl activator and it's fluffy, so it's not really thick. And we're just applying it on our hands, lathering it up. It's not lathering it up, but apply it on the head, add that shine, you know, get them waves looking good. Apply, apply, apply. And yeah, let's go. This is important, removing the hairs that stick out, right? Waver's got hair that stands out by itself. Remove that stuff. Alright, we got the cutthroat or straight razor and um, we're removing the hair on the forehead especially and making that trim line just look amazing. Alright, so don't cut the dude, the stuff is very sharp but you get this right, looks amazing. So we're lining him up with the straight razor and yeah, let's go. So the plastic bag method adds static to your hair, makes your hair lay flat, has that shine, however it does it, looks damn good. Try it. Alright, this is what he looked like before coming to the shop. This is what he looks like now. Oh my gosh, looks so good. Make you want to slap yo. <laughs> yo, anyway. Alright guys, please check uh, check the YouTube page out. It's called Benny Jensen. Instagram is the shop barber shop. Facebook, the shop barber shop. Please, please like, share, subscribe all of that stuff. Anyway, love you all. Peace.